Let's talk about fiction versus nonfiction very briefly. And this is a, I mean, this is a topic that you could go on probably for eight weeks about, probably even you know a whole semester worth fiction versus nonfiction. But I just wanted to touch on it very, very briefly. And these are my beliefs. Um, I think nonfiction are good for stories marveling at humanity, the funny, sad, sexy, twisted, and profound things that make us unique among the universe unique among all beings, unique among everything else within the universe. This is because the prime draw to nonfiction is reality and truth, and both of those things ultimately, if you were to break it down, are human constructs, you know? So the, that's the appeal. When you write in nonfiction, you want to you wanna tell a story that you, uh, you can't believe this happened, maybe, or, you know, things like that, something, something that y you, you go to an event like... Uh, you go to the running of the bulls of Pamplona or something like that, and you you want to capture something that's unique to that moment, the, the, the festival atmosphere and the history and things like that, something that is human. You're not going to find that in a, a, you know, a pride of lions. It's not, it, just, it doesn't exist. So if you want to go for that sort of thing, uh, nonfiction is very good. Would you say it's trying to recreate your feeling in a story form for other people? Not necessarily, because uh, you know you can write articles too, and you, right. um, and that's not necessarily your your feeling, but it could be very engaging, you know. Right. So, well, it has to be factual. Uh, yeah, well, if you're writing an article, but not all nonfiction has to be fact. I mean, I mean, it, I guess it does have to be factual degree, but it doesn't have to be factually compelling. Is right. what I'm saying. Right. Um, it could you could be you could be very well trying to express your feeling, but. It's um, it's about the human condition versus fiction, where I believe it's it's better for examining the spiritual condition, which is um, beyond the impulses and proclivities and provocations of the flesh. It's just um, this is because reality can be suspended in a fictional world. You don't have to obey the rules of truth necessarily. You can get and because you can suspend those rules and the reader is willing to suspend them for you, you can get at things that don't necessarily have to rely on fact. So that's, uh, that's my prime enjoyment for fiction. The truth is no longer in a textbook with fiction. The truth is now what the author says is the truth. Now, I know you prefer nonfiction, right? You prefer nonfiction. For writing, I yes. do. For reading, I You prefer read fiction. fiction? Yeah. But I read not a lot of nonfiction, too. Yeah. I've actually I've come to a point where I prefer nonfiction. Actually, there's the, a saying: if you want to write a good book, tell the truth. Yeah, yeah. And that's how I feel. Well, the, the great thing about that phrase is the truth is, is it the truth around the world or is it the truth uh, yeah, within you? Right. You know, mm -hmm. that's why yeah. it's it's open ended. Yeah, exactly. You know? yeah. So? And then there's a story in everything. Yeah, absolutely. They read. You know, you can read the paper every single day. You come up with a hundred different stories, mm -hmm. huh? and mm -hmm. they could be fiction. And if you listen to all these commentators on television, the Republican side, the Democratic side, the stories get twisted on and on and on, and <laughs> drives you nuts. You just shut it off. That's um, <laughs> yeah. For what, what really happened, and nobody yeah. really knows because they yeah, they all twisted it so much that yeah. the story's gone. Yes. Yeah. Politics is an example where narrative is just, it's disgustingly overwrought and, uh, and relies nothing on truth. It's more about feeling. It's, yeah. it's very, mm -hmm. but, <laughs> yeah, but feeling in a negative way. It's, it tries to embrace all your fears rather than hopes, generally. So, um, so you're basically saying right. political commentary is the like politics. Uh, political commentary needs to be done properly. That's what, the, when I did the events of election 08, my CD... I was very focused on that, but when you look at things like um, uh, like Fox News, and I don't want to pick on Fox News, MSNBC does the same thing. You know, on both sides of the spectrum, they're very bite-sized. What can you tell me about how I should, you know, the, how I should fear, basically? You know, feel. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's right. No, I like that politics when two shoes were thrown at him. That was great. And George Bush. <laughs> oh, yeah, a few oh, years ago yeah, yeah, in Iraq. Care of a lot of stuff. 